Hi, this is Second Story Garage. We're here with Shell. And um, before, and you came here to play music, but before we talk about that, I just want to ask about the hat, if I can, because, well, you, you all sometimes wear hats, because here's their album, they're all wearing hats, and you make these, right? I do. All right, tell me about that. Well, we decided that these are the crowns for those um, brave enough to pioneer their own imaginations. Um, it's just the idea that everybody, every person on this planet, you know, I think is capable of brilliance. Mm -hmm. It's just a matter of whether or not you're given the opportunity or even like maybe the inspiration to dig deep and find it and create something. I think um, we were all made to create. Yeah. So. That's beautiful. That's and I think that story. expresses just that. She's the she's the brains behind the hats. That's true. <laughs> mm -hmm. Or the brains in the hat? What if the hat was the brain? Oh my gosh. Well, <laughs> it's getting much. weird. <laughs> oh, sorry. We I'm not going to stop sorry. you. We just started and that. it's already I weird. Listen to that. <laughs> um, all right. So uh, anyway, so you but you do play music besides making hats. Yes. And um, yeah, I was reading uh, on your website you uh, were talking about your influences. You've all been playing music since you were small, right? And you list your influences like the Beatles. Bob Dylan, and then Harry Nielsen was next. And I was like, wait a minute. Who is it? And then, like, something coconut was going through yeah. my head. Yeah, you put lime the lime in the coconut. coconut. <laughs> so it was such an obscure reference. So what was it about uh, Nielsen that Oh, my gosh. Life? He has this movie called, well, so. You it's a rock opera. So it, called The Point. Um, Ringo Starr narrated it because I, they actually made an animation of it, but he released it as like. I need a, to see this. It's so yes. good. We have it like super your life. hipster parents, so they showed us a <laughs> bunch of stuff. Well, hippies. But now they would be classified as hipsters because, I mean, yeah. that thing, nobody knows about that. It's called The Point. Yeah, it's so good. Okay. I love the music. I need to catch up on my cultural obscurities. It's so if, good. You, if you really want to know about him, there's a, a documentary on Netflix. It's called Who is Harry Nelson and Why is Everyone Talking About Him? Really? And it, like, it's so good. It's one of the best music documentaries I've ever seen. Really? Are we the only people that are talking about him, though? No. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's a growing <laughs> sensation. You can actually watch. Was like, oh, sorry. Yeah, go for it. You can actually watch The Point, too, on YouTube. It's on there in 10 parts. Yeah. All right. I've yeah. done it's that. It's wonderful. little plug for Harry Nelson. Okay, yeah, let's get back to you guys. So you have uh, one album out now. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. And uh, oh, we should say you're all sisters, too, from mm -hmm. Fort Collins. And, Correct. Uh, uh, so, uh, but speaking of your folks, your dad at least was a musician too. Is mm -hmm. that how, I mean, it seems like that's how all this yeah. got started, right? Yeah, he's a singer-songwriter, Andrew Holbrook, and <clears throat> we grew up going to his shows, and um, we all started playing around 10. We're, we're pretty close in age, a few of us are a year apart. Mm -hmm. So uh, around 9, 10, we all started playing instruments, and we'd get up on stage and back him up, you know, one song at a time until we kind of became his full backup band. Then we started writing, and then he started backing us up. And um, he and our mom would tour with us during the summer, and you know when we weren't in school. And mm -hmm. uh, so we that definitely got us started, and, and got us in that mindset of okay, this is this could be a career. This is what we're going to do, and this is how we do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it probably also helps to just like make being in front of people natural. Yeah, yeah for sure. Like you just grow up doing it, and so it's not a problem. Yeah. Yeah. We saw, we t went on our first little tour in 2005. It was like a two week long thing that we went we went through Nebraska. So I mean we've been we've been kind of doing this for a while. Mm -hmm. And you were uh, teens then. Teens, or yeah. yeah, sixteen, I think. I was That's fifteen. Cool. You 13. were like born. <laughs> Barely. How did, how, I mean, how did it happen that you all happen to choose different instruments? Uh, which is lucky because then you can make a band. If you all chose to play keys, uh, then that might Hannah be wouldn't let that happen. Territorial. Yeah. Oh, okay. You're like, you can but we anything, tried. But oh, when we fine. tried, but <laughs> can't touch it. So did Hannah just tell you, okay, now you're going to play? The yeah. They wouldn't no. have listened. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. true. I feel like that's we should each tell kind of our own story about our instrument, starting with wow. the oldest. All right. Well, when I was pretty small, I just wanted to play piano. Like, I knew that was going to be my instrument. And my older brother actually played it first. Um, and so I had to wait until he kind of like did his thing, decided he didn't want to do piano anymore. And then my grandmother was like, hey, I'll pay for lessons. Who wants to learn? And I was like, me, me, me. Oh, I've been waiting. Oh, it's my turn. So just stuck with it since then. Very good. Worked out. Um, we went to a music store downtown Fort Collins, and there was a mandolin on the wall, and Dad was just like, that's a really good price. I'll buy it if someone will learn it. And I don't even remember why I raised my hand, but I 
I was like, what? I, I guess I'd, I that'd be cool. I want to be like Hana. <laughs> <laughs> Probably I was like, well, I better get in on this. And he was like, I remember him being like, Liza, do you want to learn it? And she was about like, yay big. He was probably Barely like, this bored. is more your size. And and she was like, no thanks. And I was like, well, I'll, I'll do it. <laughs> and I hated it. And I almost quit. And the day that it came for me to decide, I remember just enough from like my mandolin lesson to play a little bit of a song before I went to my next one. I hated taking lessons. I was like, I'm not going to do this anymore. And um, I could play a little bit, and then I was like, wow, I think I want to do this for the rest of my life. And it was a pretty pivotal, That's life-changing awesome. moment. Were you like nine? So, yeah, ten. Cute. Wow. Adorable. Oh, the cutest. Weird. Um, yeah, did you? I just followed suit and got a fiddle. It was just a thing to do in your family. Oh, yeah, point. right? It was, like, definitely, better it was definitely a fad. Yeah. <laughs> and I was really jealous that Sarah got to play the violin because I was and am a huge tomboy. And I thought the violin was like a really like cool guy instrument. And then Dad's like, Liza, do you want to play the harp? And I was like, seriously? <laughs> it's like the girliest me? instrument you could have picked, Dad. And he's like, I played Harp's in not college. manly? No. I better stop playing. Right? Better <laughs> <laughs> so pick it up. Hand over, <laughs> hand over yeah, your man yeah. card right now. So <laughs> hand that over. That's embarrassing. So he suggested that because he had played it in college. So I played that for seven years. and um, But I really liked tapping on stuff, and I really liked rhythm. So I got a hand drum when I was, like, 10. And then my kit when I was 13. And I just absolutely loved it. And I was like, forget the harp. I like mm. hitting things. When you're 13, you, just, you want to bang on Exactly. Stuff. I was, like, really, like, angsty. Mm, yeah. Uh-huh. You know, like that. So that's, that's, yeah, that's how we all started. Cool. So we invite uh, all our artists to bring us something. Shell brought us this sign. It's more like a statement, I guess. You know, like, is this like a mantra for you guys? Or just? It is. Oh, yeah. Really we have is. a bunch of number one rules for the van that we travel in. Mm-hmm. There's, like, stuff like no making out in the van. Yep. No whining. No hitting the driver. No, no hitting, hitting the driver. driver. That's a good Everybody one in every vehicle. Everybody who gets yeah. in the van can only get in it while it's moving. Yeah. Yeah. So, so the doors that's open. Kind of and except for driving. the driver. You yeah. know, the driver's the only yeah. one that can get in while it's stopped. Yeah. And so it's kind of like um, Little Miss Sunshiny. You're like driving by. You know, people are coming out of the gas station. Get in the car. Going like half a mile an hour. Yeah. <laughs> and it makes everybody it like. like so and then, fair. you know. It's, it sounds, like, really uh, dangerous, yet, like... It's oh, not really dangerous. Oh, my dangerous. gosh. We live on the edge. <laughs> it sounds do dangerous. Yeah. We're daredevils. But, uh, <laughs> really. I'm yeah. amazed we're still alive. <laughs> no whining, though. So now there's no whining in the studio. So yeah. Thanks right. for that. We figured it's relevant everywhere. Yeah, it's kind yeah. of... In any work environment. Yeah. yeah. I agree. So no whining, folks. Um, thanks a lot for coming. We really enjoyed listening to you. I love it. Thanks for having uh, us. And good luck with your future uh, endeavors. You're going to be back. Oh, mention that one show you're going to have back in yeah. Chautauqua. Yeah, we're playing at Chautauqua in Boulder um, on November, or yeah, November 8th. Yes. All right. So that'll be super fun. There's a few tickets left for that. Yeah. All right. It's all up on the website, shellmusic.com. But a show with one L. And we're on Facebook and Twitter and, <laughs> and Instagram yeah. and YouTube. <laughs> and Spotify. You can now follow us. Your mom does. <laughs> there's the plug right there <laughs> and in the meantime after you've gone to all your websites watch the videos at secondstorygarage.com Heck thanks yes. a lot <laughs>